It's a tragedy that has left a family shattered and a community in shock. Two children killed, 10 others injured after a driver slams into a birthday party in Monroe County. Right off the top here at 5, we are learning police believe it was a drunk driver that drivers expected to be arraigned tomorrow in a Monroe County courtroom. Let's get you caught up on some of the details. The crash happened Saturday afternoon at the Swan Boat Club in Berlin Township. A 66-year-old woman whose identity has not yet been released drove into the building killing those two children and injuring 10 others. Victor Williams is in Monroe County tonight with the update. Hello. Well, as we await the official charges and the arraignment of the person accused of doing all of this, we're seeing a little bit of the heartbreaking aftermath of what took place right here at this boat club. It's so sad to know that two young children passed away, but now we're learning more about the conditions of the victims of everyone who survived. The community is still reeling from the loss of two siblings who tragically died at Swan Boat Club after a 66 year old woman allegedly had too much to drink and plowed through the side of the building during a birthday party. We now know the names of the two deceased, eight year old Alana Phillips and four year old Zane Phillips tragically passed away while their older sibling was also badly injured. This GoFundMe page has raised nearly $200,000. Overall, about 15 people were hurt. Only nine were transported to the hospital. Each adult had only minor injuries. Their ages 31, 57, 62, 66, and 70. All four have been identified as females. Three teens survived between the ages of 14 and 18. Two young women ages 16 and 18 are recovering in the hospital in serious condition, while a 14 year old is in serious condition as well. An 11 year old boy is in critical condition at this time. As for the driver, people are patiently waiting for charges to be announced. And once again, this is just such a horrible and tragic situation. We are hoping for that arraignment to take place first thing tomorrow. And of course, once that does happen, we'll have a camera right there in the courtroom. Victor Williams. Local. Just awful. That poor family losing not just one child, but two. Just heartbreaking. All right, Victor, thanks.